Hey guys, so wait a second, hold on, I'll sound too low for the game. So in this episode, this is a, it's not a FNAF 3 video, but kind of is. This is a discussion video. Um, uh, yeah. It's basically... Talking about the spring suits. Uh, hello, hello, hello. Uh, and loading times. And um. So the the spring lock suits are lag. Spring lock suits were obviously spring trap or spring bonnie, as you can see here, spring bonnie and spring Fredbear. The Fredbear is obviously Golden Freddy. Though we have a big plot hole here, as s well, Fred Spring Fredbear or Fredbear could not be Golden Freddy. Why do I say this? Golden Freddy has four fingers. In every game, at Golden Freddy represents Nightmare Fredbear. He has a total of four fingers. And that kind of makes him hard to be a spring suit with only four fingers. No. This could be very wrong. Now, this could have been a mistake like Scott could make the stories go along, but Scott plans these things, you would think. So, it's kind of hard to say he's made up his go along. Blah, well, magic. So, okay. Seen all these mini games. All these mini games do something. Now let's get some friends. Okay, so see Springtrap here. He is Spring Bonnie. He has a total of five fingers, which means this is obviously in a universe where where people have four fingers. Holy hell, those feet are disgusting. And of course, a few. Yeah. Look at Foxy. Four fingers. Balloon boy stubs. Phantom Freddy, four fingers. Phantom Puppet, four fingers. Phantom Chica, four fingers. Maybe I'm trying to have four fingers. Except spring trap. An obvious human like suit. But every, every imagery of Golden Freddy we can see does not have. Four fingers. FNAF 2's Golden Freddy does not have golden fi golden fingers. <laughs> FNAF 2's Golden Freddy does not have five fingers. Neither does FNAF 1's. <sighs> and FNAF 4 does not count. Fin yeah, it is true in FNAF 4, Fredbear, Nightmare Fredbear has five fingers. But Nightmare Fredbear is a representation of Fredbear. F Spring Fredbear, as I like to call him. No, Fredbear and Spring Fredbear. The presence of Spring Fredbear from the Fredbear Family Diner. Well, not Fredbears. Okay. What I'm saying. I'm saying, what I meant to say was Nightmare Fredbear representation of Nightmare. <sighs> okay, hold on, let's restart this. Nightmare Fredbear is a representation of Spring Fredbear from the first Freddy Fazbear's locations with Spring Trap. Now what I wonder is why isn't oh plus trap I guess so why is spring trap represented by an animatronic or spring bonnie system? <laughs> Sorry, I had to have fun with that. So get okay, comes say. So how can now you could have been saying, like I said earlier, that Scott is didn't plan ahead. He meant to make one game, and then as he went along, he feel he wanted to make more games. The story would develop there, which is a good point. I can see FNAF One maybe being different, be not planning a game. When FNAF Two came around, the story expanded. FNAF One story was very simple. 
<laughs> okay, that's a lie. It was a lot more simpler. So, kids were killed. Yes, did disappear. Someone was kid. So, this this person was arrested. The kids possess the animatronic suits. They try to kill you. That's basically it. But when FNAF 2 came around, this enhanced the entire story. Obviously. And this enhancement of the story obviously changed a lot of things. For example, I don't think Scott ever planned to make this terrifying model of Bloom Boy. Maybe FNAF 1. Heck, Bloom Boy is possibly in FNAF 1. So who knows? But the animatronics, like I said before, were not possessed at any point. They were obviously designed to have four fingers, so they almost could not wear the suits. And Spring Trap and Spring Fredbear <sighs> having five fingers, but it was they were designed to be worn as portrayed in the phone calls. In FNAF, these FNAF 3 phone call were free recordings. My question for you guys was I want you guys. Like, talk to me in the comment section below. What do you think happens to Spring Fredbear? Golden Freddy's out to the original Fredbear. But there's no way of determining where Spring Fredbear is. And that's a huge factor. Did he just get disappeared? Did he just disappear? Was he scrapped? I mean,. The old animatronics were used for parts. Was it possible they scrapped his entire suit and just used an endoskeleton? That could be a possibility. I mean, it's not been proven, but it's suspected that the FNAF 1 animatronics have an entirely different endoskeleton. The FNAF 2 animatronics have no endoskeleton. Well, that's not speculated. That's true. But it's speculated that the rest of the animatronics use the same endoskeletons. He's according to Gary's mod models also. But I'm not saying that's true or false. I'm just saying speculation and often used. So yeah guys, that is the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and <sighs> yawn, I'm sorry, I'm just tired. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, like I said before, all that kind of stuff. See you guys in the next video. Bye bye.